Alrighty, guys, time for our final Aztec campaign scenario thing. Broken Spears, let's go. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, Emperor of Tenochtitlan. The Spanish will return soon. I had hoped that Cortés would continue fleeing back from whence he came, but he had stopped to regroup at Tlaxcala. I imagined that he could not stand the thought of returning to Spain while we still had treasuries of gold hidden from him. Still dreaming of gold and glory, the Spanish pledged themselves to another assault on Tenochtitlan. In Tlaxcala, Cortés constructed many war boats on dry land. Then he had the crafts broken down and carried through the rainforest, only to be rebuilt on Lake Texcoco. He knows that my Aztec warriors can defend the bridges leading into Tenochtitlan, but we are vulnerable from the water. Well, yeah, you don't even have galleons. I called the warriors to one final battle. The priests attempted to encourage the troops by calling upon the Aztecs to defend their ancient gods and their glorious city. They sent up smoke signals to declare that the Aztecs were ready for war as I climbed the steps of the great temple and sounded the shell trumpet. Tenochtitlan would be under siege soon, and the brave Aztecs would die before we would see her captured. Again, this is all fictitious historical reimagination. All right, defeat, well, everybody. Uh, prevent the wonder from being destroyed to preserve the morale of your warriors. I have no idea what this means. We are restricted, restricted to a pop limit of 100. That seems pretty damn low. Uh, defend the bridges into the great city of the, from the Spanish and Tlaxcalan attacks, but also construct warships. Spanish cannon galleons are powerful, but be on the lookout to acquire some for your own and Tenochtitlan is a big city. Okay, the Aztecs. We control Tenochtitlan. It's a big city. Uh, the Tlaxcala attack from the southwest. Uh, and our Aztecs, the Cortez Navy, is to the east. They will have, obviously, a lot of ships, a lot of bombard towers, and then some halbs and rams and stuff on land, and will transport. And the Cortez army is to the northwest. They have paladins, onagers... Conquistadors, bombard cannons, that sort of thing. We're gonna do this right away. We have a big old city. Let's get going. Okay. Well, at least we got everyone to work. Not quite. Yeah, we start with three TCs, which is going to be plenty. So, for some reason, they swapped the Cortez Navy and Cortez Army's colors. I don't really know why. Anyway, um, the Cortez army is actually the weakest one. That's not Tlaxcala. So we're going to make some trebs and try and go for some early attacks on them. But all of our enemies are post-dim. So that's kind of a pain. Whereas we are only regular imp. Okay, we got that done, so we we're fully walled. But yeah, 100 is a really low pop limit. I mean, it used to be 75, but even still. Also, I said it back in uh, Montezuma 4. But this map is almost exactly the same, but with, uh, you know, the enemy base is constructed and all that stuff. Oh, 
turns for the rest of your goal. Surrender now or feel the wrath of our bombards. Nah, I'm good. Your enemies are in post him, so your monks aren't going to be especially great. Here's the wonder. Oh yeah, castle right there. Rip that eagle warrior. Yeah, paladins are going to be a big problem. Make it to the... Yeah, buddy. Hi, Heater. You always come on at the best possible times. I guess go for some pikemen. And some marbleists, maybe? Essentially, the Cortez army, like, back in the day, used to be super easy to defeat. Like, you just had to take down, like, their castle or something, and they wouldn't even start with any army. Oh, no. But now, you know, you do have to take them down. So it's a slightly more involved process. Get 10 of these guys, put them in the boat. I said put them on the boat. But yeah, very much. What? Get on the goddamn transport ship! We need to stop with villager production now. At least for a little bit. Um, attack, please, towers. How did you get there? I am in an incredibly confused state. Anyway, oh boy, it's the Navy. Yeah, Eagle Warriors are kind of a problem. Get those guys to work. Oh, I forgot I had a dock over here. I don't see any fish, though. At least not any good ones. Yeah, it's a lot of Eagle Warriors with full upgrades. Wait, what? They're running away? Anyway, our herbs are at least going to be semi-okay against these Conquistadors. And they're going to be good against the Jaguars, of course. <sighs> That's a really cannon galleon. Let's get some fire ships. Don't need that much stone. Get 
that. Even if the arbs are, arbs are only dealing two damage, you can still slowly whittle away at them. I really do need more gold miners. That guy. Well, that was rather wasteful of them. And our score is insanely high. Although I think that's because of all the bridges we have. Uh, I'm gonna need some more docks. No, oh, let's not. Let's get Garland Wars first. Oh boy, here come the paladins. Well, we're not doing as bad as I thought we would. Okay, we're still not doing great. Okay, and of course I am now running low on Jags to deal with the Eagles, but what can you do? That castle is mega dead because those fast fire ships are sensibly useless. I just feel like so constricted by the pop limit in this one, and it felt like that back in AOC as well. It's kind of cool with the fire animation. Anyway, it's going to take a, a hot second to take that down. Anyway, we're getting near enough to full upgrades. One enemy at a time. Anyway, we can get some elite cannon galleons over here, but I'm not going to explore that way until we're going to take down the navy. Uh, which... I think makes sense because you can't replenish them, so you don't want to you don't want to lose them, and we don't need them against anyone else because you can't use them because of the causeways blocking against uh, everyone else. Okay, let's start working away at those guys. use them. Well, 
Also, all your enemies have two town centers, two castles, and, you know, same amount of assorted military buildings and whatnot. Although the navy is the strongest, because they also have a ton of bombard towers, and also you need to reach them via transport ship, because you demolish the southern causeway, because you are morons. Quick, let's uh, get rid of the one way we can get to the Spanish. Let's instead be forced to challenge them on the water, where they... Yeah. The time of the Aztec Empire has passed. Look to us as your new rulers. Well, that is a rather unfortunate fact, but is sadly historically accurate. Anyway, I remember them making onagers and losing a whole bunch of units here for free. So we're going to try and avoid that. I mean, they did do some small changes. Like, I don't think this jungle was here. Uh, back in, you know, Montezuma 4. Keep on trucking. Like I said, they have another castle and town center down here. Yeah, you bet they have onagers. We're going to prioritize that that little guy. I send in the jags and the pikemen. Okay, no more onagers. Yeah, that's all I care about. Well, actually, I kind of hope that this is enough arbalests. It's not. Maybe it's enough to take out the castle still? We need a lot of jaguars going up against the Tlaxcala who are going to be next. Okay, it was enough to take down the castle. Oh, hello, Tux Tlaxcala. It's actually send some people on over this way. Did I queue up some more trebuchets? Yes, I did. Don't really need to focus on pikemen right now. Jags and then Trebs. They really are intent on destroying this random wall. That's not great. Like I said, our big problem is pop space. Maybe it was kept low to represent the uh, the smallpox that had struck the Aztecs. Yep, that works pretty well. 
Some random scorpions there, but Aztecs don't get heavy scorpion. Um, I guess try and repair that. We need to lose some pop space before we can... Uh... Onward. Let's build a castle over here. I'll let at least slow down some of the production. I don't remember if they can remake production buildings or not. Didn't I commission some of you guys to make some fast fire ships like a bajillion years ago? Okay, it doesn't look like they can remake production. No, 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 no. Okay. Wait, when did I make Eagle Warriors? <laughs> I don't remember that. Am I just going to be repairing this castle forever because I'm just not losing pop space? This should hopefully be them resigning. Because that was like everything. Okay, just like... I guess I have to delete some bills. Just so I can get some fire ships. Because we are going to need stone because we're going to go for a landing um, against the Cortez Navy. But yeah, our army here is looking pretty sick. Oh! That's also not great. I did say they'd go for landings. Well, I'm not going to be able to save that castle, but whatever. Let's go take out the Pluxcala. Castle number one. They have some guard towers that have arrow slits, but it's not the end of the world. Gold is going to be running low here pretty soon, but I think we already have enough resources to finish out the scenario. Come on, Trebs. Yeah, 
Guess we need to make more jugs. Oh, let's not do that. That won't be necessary. Oh, am I really going to lose everybody? Man, this is annoying. Aztecs just do not do the whole population efficiency thing. At least not well. Oh, they're down to one barracks, assuming they can't replenish production buildings for whatever reason. Yep. Yoki. Get him over here. Thankfully, we do have the Aztec creation bonus to help us out a bit. Can we land, please? Thank you. 3,400 gold exactly. What do you know? Alrighty. Are you serious? Well, I don't think they're replenishing the buildings, so I'm pretty sure they're out of... Barracks to make eagle warriors, which means I should probably keep these arbalests alive. I wish I could be preparing a simultaneous attack on the navy, but I don't have the pop space. Let's just do that. Where are you going? Okay, I think we've taken out all their production except for their other castle. Oh, no, no, not the treb. Ugh. Floxcala will also tran uh, transport you, by the way. You're not careful. Alright, screw this. I've I, I hashtag believe in us. Make some fire ships. Let's go get those cannon galleons. I'm very sad that they're cannon galleons, though. They used to be 
turtle ships. They used to be elite turtle ships. The Spanish must have abandoned these warships during their flight from Tenochtitlan. Now we will use them to bring death to the Spanish by sea. It's not quite the same as what are these strange weapons? A gift from the gods? Someone, you, you, I mean, this this scenario is already a historical reimagination of history. Yeah, why not have the turtle chips there for the the fun little Easter egg? Anyway. We start to work on the Spanish Navy. Wait, what? Did I just have them all gather from a shorefish? I am a dum dum. What? Get in the frickin' transport ship! Why is this such a hard process? Just had to take out this castle. Anyway, the best landing place is over here. Because the Spanish have bombard towers just about everywhere else. Um, get in the freaking transport ship, thank you. Like I said, here is where the uh, best spot is. No. No, 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 no. Come on, yeah. No, no. God damn it. I'll frickin' take out the Spanish Navy before Tlaxcala. Against these guys, you have full eagles. It is kind of cool how you have to use three different aspects of the Aztec military. To, like, you have to use different armies against different opponents. Like, Arbs, Pikemen, um, against the army, have to use... Jaguars and maybe some arbalests against the Tlaxcala, and then eagle warriors and rams against the navy. I never got a lead eagle warrior. Um. Oh, yeah, trebuchets. Okay, let's frickin' finish off the Tlaxcala, please. Why didn't you kill the trebuchet? Go get him, boys! No, not my buildings!
What? Why are the Jaguars all the way over there? Oh my god. This feels like I'm playing Age of Empires. Actually running low on wood. That might be a reason. More castles. I think it's because I patrolled the Jaguar Warriors into the farms or something. Guys are annoying. Are you kidding me? How many times do I have to do this? Okay, you guys are out of farms to attack after this one. There, there literally is nothing else for you to not attack the enemy Jaguar Warriors with. Literally, they will resign as soon as you kill that castle. Okay, you guys go over there or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think these guys resign as, you shoot, as soon as you destroy their town center, so I probably could have done a better job of focusing that. But yeah, the whole ram thing is a way less effective against Tlaxcala because of all of their infantry with Garland Wars. They just tear through the rams too quickly. Yep. Literally the last people we're going to be able to take down is Tlaxcala, because we just kept on losing trebuchets for no good reason. Just transport a ton of eagle warriors over, I guess. Do they even have gold down there? Oh, what? We have done it. The stands Wait, you didn't even need to defeat the Tlaxcala? You just need to defeat Cortez and the Tlaxcala get defeated after? What? Was it, has this been true the whole time? Why did I spend so much time and energy going after these guys then? Could have just like plopped a castle here and gone for the two Cortez armies. Anyway, here's the rest of the map. Such as it is. Like, they, they didn't even have any villagers. They just had this castle and, like, enough resources to keep making jaguars. That's so annoying. Regardless, though, we got her done. Not so long ago, some 500,000 people called Tenochtitlan home. That is a lot is of people for a city in that this era. Smoking ruin was once an endless city. Yet, we will rebuild. We created this island upon which our If by we, you mean the Spanish, stand, because Tenochtitlan eventually becomes uh, Mexico City. 
The Aztec Empire has endured its greatest challenge, yet the Spanish no, it definitely may return did not. in the future. Yes, they I am will. not certain that there is a place for us in this new world. There really God isn't, and it's very sad. The future, but no doubt that would lead to more sacrifice, and I think there has been enough death for now. My people composed a poem to commemorate this great war that we have survived, and yet perhaps still not won. Broken spears lie in the roads. We have torn our hair in grief. The houses are roofless now. And their walls are red with blood. So says Cuauhtémoc, Emperor of Tenochtitlan. Feels bad, man. <sighs> if only this didn't result in the uh, absolute obliteration of an entire people and a huge portion of their culture. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we don't have the whole human sacrifice thing anymore, but, you know, the other parts, I guess. Anyway, guys, that is Montezuma, our last AOC campaign, Middle Central America, whatever campaign. And we only have one left. And that's going to be Bayanong, our Burmese campaign. See you guys for that next time.